my friends, we are going to talk about some of the reasons a baby may refuse to take express breast milk. And this is very important because know that as a working mom, you are going to return to work. And you are thinking about what to feed your baby when you are away. You don't want your baby to starve. Yet you want to do exclusive breastfeeding. Expressing breast milk is one of the ways you can continue to breastfeed your baby exclusively even when you are at work. So when a baby refuses to take express breast milk, it can be very frustrating. It can make you panic. What are you going to do and all that? So what are some of the reasons a baby may refuse to take express breast milk? The first reason may simply be because you are the one offering the express breast milk. You see, babies know who you are. They know you are their mom. They know that you are their favorite plaything or playmate and they know that you have the breast so if you have the breast and the same you are offering them breast milk in a bottle what is the problem why can't i breastfeed directly from the breast so sometimes it is just because you are the one offering the breastfeed so how can you go around this you can leave that to someone else to do you can just take a walk or something and let someone else offer the express breast milk. If that is the reason, the baby may take the express breast milk. The second reason I can think of is the fact that the temperature may not be right. Sometimes you've expressed the breast milk and you've left it on the table for a while and it gets a bit cold and you offer it to the baby. We know breast milk comes out at a particular temperature, body temperature, it's a bit warm. And so um, when the temperature is not right for the baby, the baby may refuse to take it. So what you need to do is to just warm the breast milk a little. You can test the temperature at the back of your palm to be sure it's not too hot for the baby. And then you offer it to the baby. And if you are lucky, the baby may take the express breast milk. The other reason I can think of, and this has happened to a few people, is that, you know, because you are just trying to see whether the baby will take the express breast milk. Sometimes you offer it to your baby when your baby is actually not hungry. You fed the baby. Baby is um, you fed and happy and nice and you are offering the express breast milk. They may not take it just because they are not hungry. So if you think this may be the problem, when you feed, let's there be about four hours or so, Watch out that the baby is hungry or is eating hunger cues and then you can offer the express breast milk to the baby. And you may get lucky, baby may take it. Then the other reason I can think of is what is called nipple confusion. Nipple confusion is the situation where when a baby is used to feeding directly from the breast, the baby will refuse to take a bottle and vice versa. A baby who is used to taking the bottle may also refuse to take breast milk directly from the breast so this is nipple confusion it's just because they are so used to one way and then they find it difficult to switch to the other so if nipple confusion is the problem how you can go around it well you can try offering the breast milk from a cup and see if you will be successful there are sometimes you will not be successful at all but you can try all these things to see if this may be the problem the other reason a baby may refuse to take breast milk is the taste Breast milk has a particular taste. It tastes slightly sweet and babies know this taste. So when you offer breast milk to them and they refuse it, it's maybe because the taste has changed. It is recommended that anytime you are going to offer breast milk to your baby, you do what is called the taste and the smell test. The smell is good and then the taste. Also taste it to be sure that the taste is good. So what are the things that may change the taste of breast milk? The first is contamination. Breast milk may be contaminated because either your hands were not very clean or the bottles were not clean and then the equipment, your breast pump and so on, were not very clean before you used it to um, express the breast milk. It's recommended that until the babies are three months old or if they are preterm, the bottles must always be sterilized. Beyond three months, you just need to clean them very well, make sure they are clean. But I personally think that you should continue to sterilize the bottles and equipment as long as the baby is breastfeeding because one we know that the babies don't have a well-developed immune system and so they can get diarrhea very easily and secondly breast milk is easily contaminated it has so much protein it gets spoiled very fast so i recommend that you keep sterilizing your bottles so breast milk may be contaminated and this may change the taste and that may be why your baby is refusing to take the express breast milk. What do you need to do about it? You just need to throw that one away and then, I mean, express again or take another batch. If you've stored a lot in the fridge or freezer, you take another batch and offer it to your baby.
The second reason why the taste may change may be because still contaminated, but not from contaminated hands and equipment, simply because you have left the breast milk outside for a long time. Perhaps you expressed the milk and you were hoping to feed it within three hours and so you did not put it in the fridge. But then you forgot you were doing something and it's been five hours or six hours. That breast milk is hot and the taste will change. So once the baby rejects it, all you need to do is to throw it away. Then the other thing, I have personally not encountered it, but it is documented. There are some babies who will not take um, express breast milk because their mothers have a high concentration of a certain enzyme in their breast milk. This lipase is what helps to digest the fat in the breast milk. And when mothers have a high concentration of lipase in their breast milk, when they express the milk, the milk begins to taste soapy, like soap. Um, there's a way to go around it that you could boil the milk. But I think because it's so difficult to distinguish whether um, the baby is rejecting the milk because it's contaminated or spoiled or because you have lipids when your baby refuses to express breast milk. After you have gone through temperature check, is baby hungry, are you the one feeding or not? You just throw it away. There's also another similar thing called chemical oxidation. And that's the milk begins to taste rancid, like perhaps um, a garnet that has kept too long, you know, that taste, it tastes rancid. And this rancid taste may also be because of certain things the mother ate. If the mother's diet is very high in nuts and so on, the taste of the breast milk may be rancid and the baby may not accept it. So again, I think just throw it away. And then the next day, you can express another batch because if it's food you have eaten, that is changing the taste of the breast milk and the baby is not taking it. If the next day your diet has changed, then the baby should um, take it if you offer it to them. Another thing, when you're feeding breast milk in a bottle, when the nipple of the bottle gets into the baby's mouth, the saliva in the baby's mouth comes on top of the nipple or on the bottle. And then when you have not finished feeding that particular milk that was in the bottle and you leave it, the saliva that was in the baby's mouth has certain enzymes and the enzymes will start to work on the breast milk in the bottle. So let's say you start feeding your baby at 8 a.m. You didn't finish that batch of bottle and you come and take it at 9.45 to feed. It's possible that the baby's own digestive enzymes that were left on the, the nipple and somehow got into the breast milk and then um, mixed with the breast milk can begin to digest. So this digestion can happen in the bottle that you haven't completed. And that can also change the taste of breast milk. So it's recommended that when you start to feed a baby, that bottle, you should finish it in an hour. If you don't finish it in an hour, you should just discard it. So it's also good that when you are going to offer the express breast milk to your baby, you don't offer say 200 mils at once. You can offer 130 mils, 120 mils, 150 mils, depending on how you judge your baby to be hungry or how your baby's appetite normally is. And if the baby finishes that one and you think the baby is still hungry, then you add on some more. But don't give the baby, say, um, there are bottles that are 200, 180 mils. Don't offer all that to the baby because if the baby doesn't finish it, finish it you may need to throw it away and you may not like that. So these are the reasons a baby may refuse express breast milk. But the important thing I want you to bear in mind is that breast milk can be easily contaminated when you express it. When it's in the breast, it is never contaminated. But once you have express it out the breast, out of the breast, it can't get contaminated. So when your baby refuses it, you should bear this in mind and don't force the baby to take it. Indeed, those babies will not even take it. You know, babies, they have personality, but sometimes we fail to appreciate it. So when they say they won't take it, most of the time they won't take it. But if you force them and they take it, that baby may develop diarrhea. What if the breast milk was contaminated? Thank you so much for watching this video. What's your experience with feeding your baby express breast milk? Please leave it in the comment section for me. And if you have any comments, I'm very happy to take them. Like this video, subscribe if you find it relevant to you. Thank you so much. Bye.